very memorable evening, all live, of course, here on Golf Channel. Let's take you out to the practice facility now, where Jordan Spieth is uh, on the putting green. Of course, uh, he's a young father now. Uh, they welcomed Sammy Spieth to, at the end of last year and uh, returned to the winner's circle now. Some would say through the slump. Aaron said yesterday doesn't quite believe he's he's totally back to the speed of old. Mark, what's your opinion on, on the Jordan speed that arrives this week? Oh, I don't think he's all the way back, that's for sure. But, um, you know, it, his putting has kind of been a little bit on the streaky side. It's certainly not as bad as it was for a stretch a couple years ago. Uh, when Jordan has problems, it's with his alignment, with his putting. When he couldn't make it from three or four feet oh, back in the late 2000s, it was really almost all alignment. Uh, the reason I like Spieth's chances this week is he is a tremendous pitcher of the golf ball. That is going to be so important. And I'm not necessarily talking about flopping it out of a long rough like we saw at Bay Hill last week around the greens. Uh, I'm talking about pitching the ball off tight lies from the fairways. Justin Thomas showed us that last year. Justin Thomas is another phenomenal pitcher of the ball. That's going to be one shot quality you're going to have to embrace this week. Um, Jordan is very, very good at that, and Michael Dreller will really help him with his game plan, which you and I talked about yesterday, Aaron, and that is if you get in trouble, don't try and rip it at the green and miss the green hole high left or right. Pitch it out in front of the, in front of the green and leave yourself that little pitch shot up the green off a tight lie. He is really good at those. And I think the numbers back up what you're saying, Mark, in terms of his kind of lack of sharpness on and around the greens right now. I mean, in putting inside of 10 feet, he's 153rd on the mm. PGA Tour. His overall strokes gain putting is 112th versus 33rd last year. There's a lot of headroom there. Yeah, he's got a long way to go. I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement with Mark. He's got a long way to go to be back <laughs> to the Jordan Spieth. And let's be honest, you know, 2015 is not only a long way away just in the sense of time itself, but... Uh, that, that's a career year for just about everybody but a guy named Tiger Woods uh, uh, on the PGA Tour and in normal circles. Um, we may never see a year from Jordan Spieth like that ever again. Um, and that would be okay. You know, I think that, but he is firmly in the middle of, still in the middle of the process uh, of which he started a year ago. Uh, that process really kind of started to come to fruition uh, last year at the Waste Management where we saw that he was starting to make some headway and understanding his misses. And he's going to have to understand those misses this week because uh, as the weather deteriorates, as we're expecting it to over the next couple of days, it's going to be really important, to your point, Mark, to where he, where he misses the ball uh, to where he can, has an opportunity to use that short game. You know, when you look back at 2015 uh, when he had that run of major championships, you have to remember that we were talking about Tiger Woods and Jordan Spieth in the same sentence a lot of times. Yes. We really were. We, we put so much pressure on him in a lot of ways. Uh, and that was the time where, you know, people were almost ready to say, okay, the torch is being passed from Tiger Woods to Jordan Spieth. Uh, that's a lot of pressure to bear. Well, Jordan Spieth will go out at 12.34 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. He plays alongside Daniel Berger and Dustin Johnson, so he will be part of the late early wave here at the 48th edition of the players. And we still have warm, sunny skies, but kind of confusing conditions for these players to practice in because there is weather coming in this week and it will all begin tomorrow.